Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another YouTube video with your host Ken Kukan and today we got another Destiny 2 Trials training videos. I wasn't going to come out with a video this weekend but people are just god awful on this map. This map is not tough. I literally just played a game where no one was in game chat and once again, I say it every fucking weekend guys. If you want to hear me say it for the 500th millionth time, come to the Twitch stream. Uh, link in the description below and then you'll hear me say go to fucking game chat or you're just you're just holding back the team bro. You are the problem. You're just the biggest problem. You're you're worse than having someone walk off the ledge every fucking game on accident, bro. Like, you're just bad. And that's who you are. With that said, rant out of the way. Now you really want to hit that like button, right? Um, The map is Eternity. It's a tough map, but it's not really. It's got flags. What do the flags tell you to do? They tell you where to fucking go. How do you know? Because they're flags. They show up on the screen. Everyone has the same 30 second timer. Everyone sees it on their screen. Unless you're blind playing the fucking game, you know where to go. All right. So for whatever weird reason, people go to odd locations. We're going to talk strictly. Where should I go? Where should I go? Right. When the flag pops up, depending on the spawn, where should you go? I'm not going to tell you anything else really before we talk about that it's the first and foremost thing in trials flag shows up you spawn up what the fuck do you do all right so this is your spawn we'll talk about this spawn and the three flags that come from here <clears throat> so if the flag goes here right this is flag this is the first flag that could show up all right and you come out of that spawn you have a couple of options right you could come out of your spawn and go to the left and go away from the flag, right? And I'd probably call you dumbasses. Now, I've played some people that go to the left. I've also gone to the left. But if round one, your first move is the whole team goes to the left away from the flag, you better have some confident fucking snipers on your team that don't miss because all I'm going to do is sit on the flag and cap it, and then I'm going to hear my partners say, this is a lame way to win. Because I played the objective, bro. Like, and that's, you know, but at least I'm going to the lighthouse. And you're probably not, right? So, if you don't have a really good sniper, you shouldn't go down there. You should try to contest here. A lot of teams will not come out of that spawn and jump right up here. Some of them will. Some of them will shoot you from here, right? But you want to go somewhere by the flag. Giving up the flag is dumb. If it's not heavy round, you probably should be going towards the flag's vicinity, right? So, you can, if you're playing scouts or sniping, you can challenge through this lane, right? Now, this is, Destiny Trials is, is chess, guys. Like, I probably played this game so well because I have a brain and I use it to think about the map and all the possibilities, right? That's how my brain is, you know, wired. If all three of you... Stand together and look here. Do you see my scope? Do you see the stairs? Do you see the top of the stairs? No. So if all three of you are sitting back here in your scopes, right? And maybe one of you has a scout rifle on and they see someone pop up at the top of the stairs, everyone else is going to die. Everyone else is going to get shot. So number one, wherever you go, if all three of you are standing in the same spot, you're probably going to die. It's not going to be good for you, all right? But you can contest from here. Somebody really should try to play the staircase. It's, it's too valuable not to. So you can peek here. The faster you are to get to your location, the safer you're going to be, right? If you can beat the enemy to the lane, you're less likely to be contested. Now, a lot of grenades could come round one, so maybe you want to you wanna peek, but be ready for grenades. And be ready for grenades doesn't mean, oh, here comes a grenade. I need to run back with my back turned to the snipe lane in the open like a fucking moron. No. It just means step down safely, right? You're still by cover. Lightning grenades, shoot it. Spike grenades, shoot it. Trip mines, I guess, shoot it. You know, anything else you can't really shoot and they're going to be dealing damage to you. So you just, just step back a little bit, right? Now, the enemy could push you, so maybe you want to lead with a grenade as well yourself. Um, you probably want to aim it more towards the platform if they do jump up. If you're there first, 
maybe you're round one, you should get a grenade and, you know, you can always throw it at that wall. If you have a tough time throwing it to surfaces and you're not at a higher elevation to throw it down, you can always throw it at a wall near where you want it to go, right? Depending on the grenade, it should do its job. I run solar nades, right? I run... I run solar grenades, I run vortex nades, I pretty much run any grenade that kind of acts like a solar grenade. It's just, it can't be broken, it's got a long cooldown, but it does the job. It just makes people go away from the area. Alright, now, with that said, you can also challenge from over here. Maybe one person can come over here, right? And this is, the people that are at the ball in the water, they have an easier time shooting here than you do to shoot to them or anywhere right because if you don't see an enemy there all right well first let me talk about this you're going to be the last one to the lane they're there first they get to look at this lane from way back there right so you're already going to be at the lane after them they spawn like five feet from you know from this lane they're like five feet boom and they're looking at you from there all right by the time you get here, they're probably between the two balls and they are, you know, if, if you're unlucky, they're at the ball and you won't even know it. So you got to look, right? Having someone at the staircase do things that are good, right? As I run through here, sometimes I will, you know, I'll be running through the map and I'll look at my camera. Maybe a guy's exceptionally fast and they'll get to the ball first. And then I will have to, you know, I'll have to just be aware of it. And then I can let my team know, hey, there's one at the ball. Boom. Done. Right. Maybe no one sees it, but someone at the staircase might get the radar. You know, someone at the staircase might be like, no one's pushing. I can go forward a little bit. Oh, the radar says there's someone out in the water. And that's all you got to say. Hey, there's someone in the water. And if your teammate that's over here says, hey, I don't see anyone. then they must be behind something, right? The logic says. So I know a lot of people are lost on logic. Like they just don't have it. Doesn't exist. Now, another thing I want to talk about here. The further you start looking for people, the more angles people are going to be at. And they don't necessarily have to be in cover. They could literally be anywhere. You could have a guy just out in the open looking at you. You could have a guy crouched next to the wall. They could be out a little bit further. They could be head glitching this if they stand far enough back. There's a lot of angles where people can be shooting you from. And you're just not going to be ready for it. So this, as nice of an angle as this is to have, if you can have it, uh, it's very dangerous, right? I would recommend a nice scout rifle would probably be better than trying to snipe from here to be honest and that depends on how fast the matches are going right and now i'm not going to talk about all the things you can do we'll be here you may as well just come to the stream and learn all right what i am going to do is you know again we're just going to cover the lanes you can take so now that we've covered if the flag goes here you want to go here if the flag goes to the middle right from this spawn you probably want to send someone here, right? Same thing. If the enemy's not being overly aggressive, you won't know round one until you know, right? You can set up for here. Putting someone to the staircase is very valuable. You'll know if someone's coming through the tunnel. You'll have the radar. You'll know if people are jumping up here. You'll have the radar. If nothing's on your radar, you know, you're obviously, are you playing against invis players? Maybe everyone's invis, right? By the time they go invis as well, you, sh you should still have a radar ping. And chances are they're coming through the tunnel. So, hey, you know, boom, grenade, right? Anyone in there? No? Okay. Moving on. You can push out of that spawn and come to the left. The flag is in the tunnel. I would still recommend, once again, you should fight for the right side first. You should not immediately go left. You really should not. All right? So, with that said, try to keep that in mind. This, for two flags from that spawn, this is the area you want to fight for, and it's going to be true on the other side of the map. All right, now, if the flag spawns left, right, and you are here, again, if it's not heavy round, you want to come to the flag. The first thing that you need to be aware of is if you, you're going to get radar pings right around here, because people are going to be running through the mid lane of the map. They're going to be running down that mid lane of the map. Now, whether or not they're coming all the way left or right, you don't know. You're just, oh, I got radar pings. If you look left and you're standing here. Oh, what's this? An angle. An angle. 
an angle. Yeah, let's add a fourth one just in case you're just, you know, standing here using this as cover. An angle. You got four angles people could shoot you from, all right? You can't stop to challenge the tunnel without knowing if there's an enemy waiting for you out here. They could be crouched. They won't even be on the radar. You won't even know it. They could literally be right here crouched, creeping out, and you're dead. And they've already got you. So if the flag is here, somebody, probably the fastest person on the team, should just run through, right? And this is why team comms is so important. If you're the fastest person, you would be in game chat. If you're the slowest person, you'd want comms from the fastest person. You would want to be in game chat. The fastest person should be like, I got radar to my right. And then they go forward and then be like, oh, never mind. It's coming to the left or it's coming in front of us. Or you can call out that it's split or you can confirm. Yes, everything's coming from the right, right? Because nothing's coming from there. And now you've safely established that this area is, you know, somewhat safe for now, for the most part. And everyone needs to focus, you know, probably here and be aware of them going through the spawn. And at that point in time, I would recommend, you know, one person kind of watch the tunnel maybe from here. Or it's because it's dangerous. If you stand here, you're safe, right? You can, but your right is exposed. And then if you have someone watch your right from here, you know, no one's watching the left, right? So again, it's chess. What I would recommend for the setup, one guy here, he's looking. If someone jumps far right, they should see a shadow. And all they have to do is say, someone's moving far right. That doesn't mean for them to run over there because now they could get shot from the second guy showing up. They could just put themselves in here and now the enemy comes back and shoots down here, right? What I would recommend is just, you know, maybe put a Titan shield down, maybe come up here and be like, hey, guy at the tunnel, I'm backing up a little bit. And now, you, you know, one guy can look over here or over here, right? The tunnel guy can kind of focus his attention. He can still kind of challenge here, but he should probably be focused here <clears throat> and someone whoever's capturing the flag they can look down here but there's only so much line of sight so you're going to be capturing the flag but anyway you would again you would be checking over this area from the other spawn uh let's come to the other spawn so from the other spawn right you have a flag that jumps up, or sorry, you have a flag that spawns up there. You just go to the flag, right? Most of the time, you just want to contest the flag. You want to try and get here. If you can get here first, that's great. You're usually going to get here, and people are going to be up on the staircase, right? So you're going to want to probably throw a grenade to get them off of there. So jumping up and throwing a grenade is dangerous. They could just snipe you. Um, depending on the type of grenade you have, you can... Just stand down here and kind of throw it over the ledge and it'll fall down a little bit. You probably want someone to come out by the ball, right? With a scout rifle or sniper, just in case someone contests over there. And then you can contest over there and you can see if someone jumps up there. You can kind of see up on the platform, depending on how far forward towards you they come, right? If the flag goes to the middle in the tunnel, all right, once again, you want to come take over this area. You don't want to go to the tunnel. You don't, your team, this should not be your play. Coming out, coming out of the spawn and everyone gathers here to the, to just a choke point is probably not the play. I would not recommend it. You need someone, uh, you probably need more than one person to come over here, right? And contest this area. Um, give me one, dude, get out of here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> a lost child just showed up. Anyway. Now, you come out of the spawn, and the flag goes to the right. I would recommend you come through the spawn, and you just you just come to the right. You want to be there. You want to fight over this area, right? You don't want to sit back, right? I know some people will rotate the map and go around, but again, <clears throat> I would still recommend the fight happen over here. Like, you're going to want to come to this area. Now, one person moving around the map and coming over here, you know, or over there, depending on the spawn and the flag, is fine. The Again, the whole team, though, it's... You're, you're going to be fighting into an area where people have already defended yourself. So. Anyway. 
that's it for the video guys once again this is where should i go when the flags are up on this map if you want more advice you got to come by the live stream and we'll talk about helping people out um and give you more in-depth advice if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe uh, share it with your friends leave a thumb up and i will catch you all next time